Hello friends, in this video, we are going to learn how to build a real-time dashboard using AWS IoT and AWS AppSync. Okay, so uh, I'll give you a brief idea of what is an IoT device, how does this work and how we are going to build the real-time dashboard using the solutions which are available in AWS Cloud. So basically, you can see this uh, picture which is uh, on AWS IoT web page. So this shows that how an IoT device works. Here we have a smartphone application and we have an IoT device which is nothing but a smart lamp uh, installed in a, a living room. So we have this uh, smartphone application and we want to turn on this light or turn off this light using the smartphone application. So we can do this by using this uh, particular solution which we are going to build. So if you want to see a demo, so we send a message from our uh, smartphone application to turn on this device and this message will be delivered to uh, this lamp and the, uh, this lamp will be turned on okay similarly it can be switched off as well or some other uh, activity can be done uh, by sending a message from our smartphone application to this uh, smart lamp okay so this is how this uh, solution works you can do a lot of different uh, activities using this uh, smartphone application which is connected to this uh, smart device which is noth nothing but iot so let's see what we are going to build in this particular solution and uh, how we will design this particular architecture on aws cloud so here is uh, the overall architecture of what we are going to build and uh, how we will build uh, it on aws cloud solution okay so we are going to build basically a real time application which will be a mobile or a web a web based application and will have one iot device which will be a temperature sensor device this temperature sensor device will basically record the temperature of a room so it will record the room temperature and whenever there will be a change in room temperature uh, this iot device will publish this data to iot core okay this data will be published to iot core and once uh, the data is published the same data will be reflected on our mobile or web based application which is nothing but our real time dashboard so basically our agenda is that we have an iot device and whenever that iot device records some kind of change uh, that change should be reflected in real time to our uh, application dashboard okay so this is what we are going to build now how to build this uh, using aws solutions uh, different services which are available on AWS. We will use those services and we'll build the solution completely on AWS. So uh, we have an IoT sensor device which will be nothing but a hardware. So for this solution, we consider that it is a temperature sensor which records the room temperature of a room. Okay, we have installed it in our living room or in our bedroom and whenever the temperature will change, uh, we'll be notified uh, on our mobile application or web-based application. Okay, so uh, to complete uh, this solution, first we will use IoT Core. So IoT Core is basically an AWS service uh, which helps us to connect to IoT devices uh, and uh, publish or subscribe to IoT devices. So our IoT sensor device, this device will publish the temperature data to this IoT Core and once the IoT Core receives the message from this IoT sensor device, we'll have a rule engine uh, uh, written here in IoT rule engine. So we'll write a rule that whenever we receive uh, the message from this uh, IoT sensor device, we will do some action. Okay, that is what IoT rule will do. So this IoT rule uh, here we can define that okay, whenever we are receiving uh, temperature data from this device, let's trigger a lambda. Okay, so we can do a whole lot of different triggers here, but let's trigger a lambda. So lambda is nothing but it is a serverless function on AWS where we can like write whole lot of uh, business logic we can do a lot of things there so whenever this uh, we, we receive this uh, temperature data on iot core we trigger this lambda that is what this rule will do so once this lambda is triggered so this lambda when it is triggered it will also receive that temperature data from iot core okay so once we receive the temperature data as payload in lambda uh, then again we can do uh, different activities here so uh, here in this solution, what we have is AppSync. AppSync is nothing, nothing but serverless GraphQL solution available on AWS. So in my previous video, I have explained you what is AppSync. If, uh, if you don't know about AppSync, you can check out that video. 
I'll I'll paste the video link in the comment section or you can also check here. So uh, this app sync will have queries and mutations since it is a GraphQL API. It will have queries, uh, mutations and subscriptions. So mutations, uh, queries and subscription. Subscription are nothing but real time updates. And this app sync uh, will also be storing the data to DynamoDB. DynamoDB is nothing but a, a key value pair based database available on AWS. So once we receive uh, the temperature data in our Lambda, the Lambda will call GraphQL mutation. Okay, so Lambda will call this GraphQL mutation uh, on this uh, app sync API. So it will send the temperature data uh, by this mutation to app sync and once the app sync uh, receives this mutation uh, what it will do it will update the data to DynamoDB so once that data is updated to DynamoDB uh, in the real time the mobile client or uh, web clients uh, they will be notified that okay there is a change in data uh, since uh, these clients have subscribed to AppSync uh, API so once the data is uploaded to DynamoDB Okay, the, the clients will also get that same message that this is the real time temperature data and that is how the real time update, the temperature update will be visible on our dashboard in mobile or web based application. So this is how the overall architecture for this solution will work. So there are different components like IoT Core, Lambda, AppSync, DynamoDB and using these four different components we can uh, design such uh, a real time application completely on AWS cloud. Okay, so this is uh, a smart uh, home solution kind of uh, solution which we can build on AWS and there can be a whole lot of different kind of solutions uh, similar to this or uh, uh, other use cases which can be developed easily on AWS. And there are some other uh, components as well in this uh, architecture like we'll have to grant uh, IAM permissions to Lambda, to AppSync, uh, to IoT Core to perform uh, this active activity and interact with with each other so all of those things we can discuss while we are actually implementing this solution so if this solution is clear to you uh, we can dive deeper into aws and we can see the services one by one and in one of the upcoming video we'll actually go and write the code uh, to execute this solution and we'll build this real-time application using this architecture so let's go to AWS console and check one by one what are these different services which we will be using for our solution. So first of all, let's uh, see what is AWS IoT Core. So if you go to AWS console, you can go to IoT Core and this will uh, take you to this page AWS IoT. So basically this service helps you to securely connect, test and manage your IoT devices. Okay, and it is very powerful and it uh, is used by a lot of uh, big companies. So AWS IoT is where you can uh, build your IoT based solutions. Okay, so you can create your uh, IoT things here. Okay, and then you can also test your IoT devices here in test section where you can publish to a particular topic and then you can subscribe to the topic and then you can listen to what messages are coming. So for example, if I write here uh, temperature sensor uh, from living room so for example uh, this is one topic uh, where i want to publish this message okay and i want to subscribe to the same topic here so if i'm subscribing to this topic and when i publish this message payload to this topic you can see that okay this topic will have this message so you can test your uh, message topics uh, here and uh, a lot of different uh, services are available in aws iot uh, which can be utilized for this solution. So we'll uh, see further like like what are the things which we are going to uh, set up here when we actually implement this solution. So this is one component of this solution, AWS IoT. The other component is Lambda. So if you go to Lambda, uh, where you can write serverless functions. So you can go to create function and then you can create a function. You can give your function a name. You can select a runtime, uh, be it Node.js or you can write it in Python, Go, Java any of the language which you want you can choose from here and uh, then you can start writing your code in lambda and that will be sufficient and then the third component which we have is app sync app sync is nothing but graphql apis so once you look for app sync in aws console you you will land in this page 
um, and uh, from here you can start working on AppSync. So if you go like uh, build from scratch, if you want to start from scratch or you already, you also have some ready-made templates available here. Like if you want to make a blog app, you want to make a chat app. So all those um, um, basically ready-made templates are also available on AppSync. So we'll also see that how we write uh, AppSync APIs here. So these are the different components which will be used for making this solution up and running. So in the next video, what we'll do, we'll start writing some code and we will start uh, implementing this solution to make a real-time dashboard which will listen to some IoT sensor device and whenever there will be a change in the temperature as per this IoT sensor device, the same will be reflected in our mobile or web client. Okay, so thank you very much for this video. Uh, have a nice day.